Hey, so my fans, so we're going to cover in this video how to make the resolution bigger and smaller on your Soma game and how to multi-screen as well so you can have multiple boxes loaded up, which can be really handy for things like crafting and having a little healer follow you around and things like that and just generally trading items to store characters and stuff. So we're going to cover all that in this video. So when you've installed Soma, it should be on your C drives. So it should be C drive forward slash Mythosoma. So this is inside the, the Soma file now, as you can see. Now you'll have something, uh, this file at the bottom here, so it's called somadevlauncher.ini. And if you load this up here, it'll say, this will be the standard resolution screen 800 by 600. So if you loaded a Mythosoma game, which I'm going to do now, I'm just going to pause the video and load it. As you can see, it would be this big. So you can't see, this is the standard Soma kind of size, and there's not a huge amount you can see. So I'm just going to go to, so you can compare the... Uh, the different sizes in a second. So I'm just going to go to the kind of this will do the warehouse. I think it'll be better actually. So you can see that you can't see a huge amount. This is obviously what everyone used to play with, but there is a better way. And you've seen people with bigger screens. So let's show you how to do that now. So like I said, if you load this file up here, which we had before, you can change the the width and the height. So the width and the height that I use on a, a general kind of standard laptop is is this. So these are the numbers that you kind of want to say, by the way, if you want to take a, a note of these. I use 1360 by 786. There's tons of different resolutions you can try. And if somebody wants to, to kind of comment below this video with all the different resolutions that you can use, and feel free to do it. But I know that on a standard laptop, this, is, this works quite nicely. Anything bigger doesn't work. So if I change these now to... 1360 and what's it on 78 uh, 786 and 786 786 and then just click save and then close that down if I load the game up again which I'll do now so as you can see this is a hell of a lot better so for hunting for wars for anything this is just you know huge amounts better you can see probably nearly twice as much out the side of the screen and a little bit more at the top and the bottom so this is it. This is great for, for walls, but on my laptop now, you can't really see it because I'm not recording the full screen, but this is taking up about 90% of my screen on my laptop. So if I was just playing one account and like for, you know, for example, for a war or for PVP, then this is the size and the resolution I would use. But if I wanted to do some dual accounting, I would use a smaller resolution as well. So let me show you how to make a, a second kind of shortcut for your, for your game. Also, a little tip actually. So that the shortcut that I'm going to use. So this is the main, the main Soma kind of file shortcut that I, I have when I install the game. I, I like to save the shortcuts of what resolution size they are. So this one is actually uh, 786. But anyway, you get the idea. It's the bigger version that I like to use. So I know that when I click this, I'm going to get the bigger version of it now because that's linked to the bigger version file. Okay. So the first thing you do. So you've got your standard Mythosoma folder, and you've already got that. Um, shortcut to the desktop with a certain size. So I would make sure that your main folder, that's kind of the big one, the single one that you use. What you really want, what your next thing you want to do is let's go right click on the folder, click copy, and then click paste. And I've already done this because it takes, you know, a few minutes to do. Uh, and make a couple of copies. So I would just make two for the time being. And you can make as many as you want and load as many screens as you want within theory if, you, if your computer can take it. Um, but you want to do that first. So once you've done that, you need to go into the first folder. So we're in the first folder now, and you need to change the resolution, which I need to make the screen a bit bigger. One second. Okay, so we come to this file again, and we need to load this up. So I've already uh, this file's already set up for me, but I wanted this at 800 and by 600 because I want this as a smaller screen. So if you've copied and pasted it as it was a bigger screen, this will be the larger resolution. But if you want to make multi-box easily, I would recommend using 800 by 600. So you want to make sure it's that. Click File and save and then close that one and then the windows shortcuts so the soma window.exe i've already made a shortcut but i'll start again so you actually want to go right click uh let's create a shortcut create shortcuts and then that'll find you a shortcut and then you want to send that to your desktop so send to desktop so when you're on the desktop it'll look something like this so we want to make sure that, well, so, so for starters, actually, I would rename this 800 by 600, and I would put like a one in brackets, so you know which one you're, you're kind of loading up. Then you know that that's that, but this won't load first. So if I load this now, it'll say, please run up menu, it doesn't work. So how do I get it to work? It's quite simple. This is the IP address that you need. So again, write this down, and just, just right click and copy. Then if you go to here, go into properties, 
And just at the end, you just put space bar, and then, so it's just a, well, I don't know if you need a gap, but I put a gap and it works. And the IP, and then just click apply, and OK. Now, sometimes, depending on what um, version you're running, you might need to change, uh, where is it, compatibility. You might need to change some of these things. So if, if you load up and it's like purple, change it to the opposite to whatever that is. Okay, um, or maybe check compatibility, run it as this. Something like that you may need to change if you're finding that when you go into the game, things are all over the place and things are purple and it's not loading up properly. Just have a play around with those two and it should normally work. But like, I'm not a computer expert, but I know that that's kind of what I did that time. So if I load this up now, this will bring me the small screen up. So if I log into this game now, so as you can see, this is loaded up very, the small window game. And I can move this around a little bit. I think the game's actually, well, the it's actually frozen the game. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's small and I can move this window around pretty easy on my desktop now. So let's try and get a second one loaded up. Okay, so with that second copy of Soma folder, I just did exactly the same as what I did with the first one. So make sure the resolution was 800 by 600, sent it to... Uh, the desk, you know, sent it to that, can put the IP in and now I've got a double box. So what we're doing now, we're going to log in with two windows and show you how you can easily kind of tab between the two of them. Okay, so let's say you wanted to craft and hunt at the same time. So let's set this guy up for crafting here. So I'm just going to set him up for crafting the shoes. So if I can click reduce, if I alt tab out and then click the other screen, and I can actually, I can just right click in between screens if I want to, but the alt tab out just really makes it simple once you click in produce, because you've got to keep the left button clicked on produce whilst you tab out. And then I can carry on hunting on this one, so if I wanted to, like, maybe brick quest or something like that, then, uh, then it could do it, you know, really, really simple to do if I needed to hunt, you know, whatever, whatever monster you're hunting, it's very simple. And the thing is, now you can see how many mats you've got on your other screen, um, you can see when you're running low, and when you've run out, just restock just literally go to the right end of the screen you go running down to your where is it restock come back up again set up again and then right click back to this screen and then you're, you're ready to go so you can just right click between the screens to make it really simple or you can alt tab and um and it goes is it windows tab or windows button and tab sorry not alt tab anyway whichever one it is uh, also crafting a really simple tip as well is fill your your thing up with resis or anything that's a weight one item so that when you craft, you you basically automatically just get skill straight away. You don't have to load any items up and sell them at the end and stuff. This is an expensive way to do it. I've actually covered this before on a on a previous video on the crafting on the channel. If you look back, there's a more in depth video on crafting. But this is just a really simple tip. So you can craft on this one, go and hunt on this one, and then again you're killing two birds with one stone, and it just makes the game a little bit kind of more like you're getting more done within in the hours that you're that you're putting in so uh hope that helps soma fans until next time peace also i forgot to mention when there's a new patch out your shortcuts won't work anymore until you patch it so if your shortcuts you need to come back into the file that that your, your folder that you've got your shortcuts from go on soma dev launcher.exe and just load that up and then this will patch and then your shortcut will work again. So it only takes like, well, however long it takes to download the patch, so a few seconds normally. But yeah, your shortcuts won't work until you've patched the game. So just come into the folder, double click this, patch the game, and then your shortcuts will work again. Every, every, you have to do that every time there's a new patch.